Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how you can prepare for recruitment to feel less stressed. I know I was super overwhelmed with the whole recruitment process. It is a week long and it's just a lot to kind of take in but it is so worth it in the end. So I just wanted to come on here and help you guys out, kind of prepare you guys for what's to come and what you might need before the week even starts and all that jazz. If you guys have watched my videos before, you guys know that I am a Kappa Delta at the University of Central Florida, and it honestly makes my heart so happy to help other people find their home away from home. Like I know that's super cliche, but it really truly is. Like Kappa Delta is my second home, and my college experience definitely would not be the same without it. So if you clicked on this video, you are probably thinking about signing up for recruitment or you already signed up for recruitment. I'm so excited for you, and and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is sign up and register for recruitment. I will have the link to UCF's registration in the description box below. So if you're planning on going through recruitment at UCF, you can just click that link and you can sign up right there. But if you are going to a different school, it is super easy to just type in Google registration for blank school um, panhellenic recruitment. Um, and a link should pop up and it should be super easy to sign up. There is a fee. I'm not really sure how much it is. It's definitely like under 100 or around 100. My best recommendation is to do it as early as possible because throughout the summer, the prices just keep getting higher. So you can get the early bird price if you sign up um, in the beginning of the summer. So definitely recommend doing that. Save yourself some money, save your parents some money, whoever's paying for it and sign up ASAP. If you're still on the fence of whether you might wanna join a sorority or not, definitely check out my whole playlist of how to sorority. It has some vlogs, it has just videos to prepare you to go through recruitment, and maybe that will help you make up your mind. Maybe you think it's a lot of work, maybe you think it's something that you really wanna try out. And yeah, so just go check out that playlist and I hope that helps. When you do sign up for recruitment, I'm 99% sure you probably have to upload like a headshot of you or like just like a really nice senior picture. I know at my high school we called them senior casuals and it wasn't like our senior headshot. It was kind of like we went to a field or we would like go take pictures at some nice building. So lucky for you guys, you don't need to hire a professional photographer. Back in my day, we didn't have portrait mode on our iPhones, but now that you guys do have that, if you didn't take senior casuals, you can always just go get dressed up, take some pictures with your friends, maybe your friends going through recruitment and you can take each other's pictures. Um, I just recommend uploading like a super high quality picture, not like a bathroom selfie with like low light. Low light pictures are always the worst. <laughs> Try your hardest to upload like a high quality picture in good lighting. The next thing I recommend is definitely picking out your outfits way ahead of time. It doesn't mean you have to spend all this money on all new outfits. You can always just see what you have in your closet, maybe like get some new accessories to match a dress you've already worn. I know a lot of people that use their high school graduation dresses during recruitment, which is a really smart idea. And I also recommend always going to Plato's closet before you buy anything because you would be surprised what you could find there. I feel like I always find really good name brand stuff there. You just really have to look. And I know during recruitment, you might want Want to buy all new clothes. So going to Plato's Closet is definitely going to cut your costs down. Maybe even check Poshmark if you know your size in different brands. So just try to save money anywhere you can. If you guys are wondering what to wear to recruitment, I did a video on this a couple years ago, so it's not really updated, not super trendy, but you can kind of get like a feel for what I wore and I definitely vlogged my whole recruitment experience so you can see what I wore for my actual recruitment. Also remember to accessorize. I mean, you don't really have to. It definitely makes you look a lot more put together. I'm not saying you need to buy like expensive jewelry because you really don't and I can't stress this enough. Like that's not what recruitment is about. It's not about having like the most expensive things. So again, maybe just go to Playlist Closet and pick out a few things on their accessory wall or Forever 21 has super affordable accessories and also Boohoo does too. So definitely look around before spending and splurging. Before recruitment starts, you must, must test out your makeup and hair in the climate that you're gonna be in, if that makes sense. So obviously my school is in Orlando and in 
the summers it is disgusting it's like humid it's super hot and it literally felt like my makeup was like rolling down with the sweat off my face so maybe find some good dupes at ulta i know nyx has amazing dupes like their powders and their setting sprays and maybe just do some trial runs the week before to see how your makeup's gonna hold up my next piece of advice is that you should definitely have a first aid kit and what i mean by this is that you should have an extra pair of flip-flops if you're wearing heels you can just walk in your flip-flops from house to house and then maybe some band-aids if you get blisters and then you definitely want like a fan of some sort like a portable fan maybe you can like plug it in your phone or something like that but definitely have a fan next is that you should get used to hydrating a lot because when that recruitment week comes you're gonna need to drink so much water to stay energized and to stay hydrated you're gonna be outside and walking from house to house and the sun is just gonna suck your energy out so I definitely recommend hydrating because it is very easy to get dehydrated. The next thing I recommend is preparing some questions beforehand. So maybe if you want to like jot them down in your phone, that way before you go into the house, you can quickly look at your notes and just kind of put those questions in the back of your brain. I highly recommend doing this because it just makes it so much easier when both people have like questions and answers and it's not just a one-way street and obviously being a potential new member you're gonna have a lot of questions so do not be afraid to ask them because that's what they're there for to answer your questions and help you figure out which place is your home i actually made a video and a blog post about some of the questions that you could ask a sister while going through recruitment it's literally just like a list of questions and maybe these questions can spark some ideas and you can make up your own and the last thing i recommend is just to keep an open mind the week before and the week of recruitment i know during this time it's really hard not to like hear all the rumors going around and they're called rumors for a reason they might not be true so please don't believe everything that you hear and the worst thing you could ever do before recruitment is go on any kind of Greek forum and start reading about different sororities on there because they are literally all lies. They're just all so untrue. So I would really hate for you to read something and just like get turned off by a sorority automatically. Like that's just not okay. I really want you guys to only make your opinions on a sorority off your own experiences with that sorority. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys feel a little bit less stressed about recruitment week. And if you guys have any other questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want me to do talking about sororities, just a specific topic or anything like that. Leave them in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>